So we're going to start off our beautiful summer goddess glow makeup using our NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And I like using this concealer because it has a yellow base tone which is perfect for neutralizing these areas as I have shown here. And for perfect flawless skin, you really want to frame your face. So this color by doing a V-shape under your eyes, along the bridge of your nose, over your eyebrows, the center of your forehead, on your cheek and right above your lip you want to blend that in with a wet beauty blender and this really helps to highlight and neutralize these areas to bring them forward this product tends to dry really quickly so you want to work fast with this Now after I've blended all of this in, I'm going to then contour my face and I like using the MAC blush in blunt and I'm using my Real Techniques brush and this is the Expert Face Brush and I'm going along the bottom of my cheekbone as you see here and I'm also running this color underneath my jawline and up into my temples because I really want to frame my face with this darker color and to contour you want two shades darker than your foundation now I'm going to contour the bridges of my nose and this just really helps to define my features so I'm going to take the Real Techniques dome shadow brush and I'm gonna dip it in the same MAC blunt and I'm going to run it along the side of the bridge of my nose and into my eye and you also want to make sure that you apply some right underneath your nose now once I've applied the contour onto my face I'm going to then take the beauty blender and blend this in so that it looks seamless now I'm going to define my brows with that same powder, the Blunt Blush from MAC, and I'm just going to fill in my, br my brows a bit. Even though I've had permanent makeup done, when I'm wearing makeup, I like to still fill it in with some powder, just to give a defined look. So now we're going to go on to the other side, and I'm just using an angled brush here, and this brush I think I bought from Michaels which is a craft store you could just use any angled brush now we're gonna highlight with this beautiful cream blush in shell from Mac and I really love this this and I, I like to apply it with my fingers because it warms up with my fingers and I feel like it blends in much more naturally when I use it with my fingers so I'm going to apply this on the high points of my cheekbone as you see and I'm just stippling it on with my finger and I'm going to apply some to the top bridge of my nose and after I've done that I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender again and blend this in so it doesn't look like I've left any noticeable lines and I'm gonna take my MAC paint tube in the color bamboo and I'm using this as my eyeshadow base and I'm taking this well above my crease and I'm gonna apply some on the other side and I really love this color because it's almost the same color as my skin tone and it has a beautiful satin finish and it dries beautifully it, it has this this feeling that's not like powder it feels like a liquid when it dries now I'm gonna go into my naked palette and take that color toasted and with the crease brush I'm going to apply that just right into my crease bone this color is very similar to the color that I've just applied but it just has a more of a rose tint to it and once blended in it really does make a difference now we're gonna go into this brown bronzy color smog from the naked palette and I'm going to apply this in my outer V of my eye and I'm gonna drag it just a bit down underneath into my lower lash line now don't worry if you make a mess because you can always take a makeup wipe and just wipe it right off and take some concealer and dab it right back on. It's no big deal. 
So we're going to go ahead and do this to the other side. And like I said, you want to run this color smog into the outer V and your lower lash a bit. And just like on the other side, if you made a mistake, you can always wipe it up. And I'm using my Avino's Facial Wipes. And then right afterwards, you just take a little bit of concealer and blend that out. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Gel Liner in Black Track, and I'm using my ELF Angled Brush. And I'm going to apply my eyeliner, a moderate line, but we will not be winging it this time. We're only covering our lid. Now once you have a straight line, just like this, the next thing we're going to do is prime our lashes. Now I'm not a fan of fake lashes, nor do I know anyone in the summer that wants to be putting fake lashes on. But here's a really good trick. You can take a eyelash primer, I like using the MAC Prep and Prime, and you want to carefully apply this all over your lashes and you can see how your lashes are coated with this white thickness. And then you take your favorite mascara, I'm using Maybelline Lash Stiletto, and it literally looks like I have false lashes on. Now I'm going to take my Naked Palette again and go into the color Smog, and I'm going to use a small definer brush, and I'm going to apply this right underneath my lower lash line to help contour that a bit. And then I'm going to take my Stila Forever Your Curl, mascara and I really like this mascara brush because it's so skinny it really gets all those small hairs on your lower lash line I don't know how people could use such big mascara wands for the lower lash it's so difficult but this one's really nice we're gonna take this MAC blush in gingerly and this is a beautiful apricot peachy color perfect for the summer gives you a nice gorgeous glow and then I'm gonna take this color from Victoria's Secret and it's called pink shake and I'm gonna wipe my lipstick off and just apply this and top it off with this pretty lip gloss from Smashbox called candy and it tastes really good too. So that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.